<coughs> okay, so I started getting, I got really basically all the parts to put the new AR together using the Wilson Combat upper and lower. So I was just going to go over what I'm doing and show you some of the parts I got. Alright, so first, real quick, this gun here, this is my, the original AR-15 I had, and I'm stripping, I wanted to take the 18 inch barrel off of this gun and hand guard off this gun and put it on the new gun, and I'm going to go back with, I'm not sure what hand guard yet, but a uh, 16 inch barrel instead of an 18 inch, but I also wanted the stock off this gun, so I bought a new stock for this gun, and this is the Mission Oh, what was it again? Mission First Battle Link Minimalist, Min Minimist <laughs> Stock. And it seems very nice. I like it so far. I haven't shot it. It fit on. It's very snug. I mean, there's no wobble and you really have to push down and pull hard to get that thing to move. You can hear it. Uh, it has a couple decent features. These slides right here let you uh, attach a higher cheek well up there and then what I've seen a few people do is go from this hole down here to this hole up here and uh, use some paracord and do like a paracord weave right here so that this can't hook on something which I'll probably end up doing so basically this gun is other than a barrel and a foreguard this is all here still you can hear the uh, capture spring in there all right so let's look at what I've got so far for this gun and I'm just going to leave this stuff out because I'm actually getting ready to put it together. And this came from Burnell. So this is a Wilson Combat TR TTU single action semi-automatic trigger. I have one in the other gun and I really liked it a lot. And basically it's all set up as one unit. You just drop this in and bam, you're ready to go. So I liked it, I had good luck. We'll put that in there. It comes with a set of new pins. I'm going to go with the Phase 5 Extended Bolt Release, which I love the function of it. It's very, I had no issues at all with the old unit. I won't need this little roll pin that came with it. It replaces the whole unit. It's not one of the bolt-on ones, and that's something I did not want. But what I don't like is this symbol. It just, I'm not big on advertising small minute things if it would have just been pressed in there without the fire or this enhancement and actually it's just like a sticker of some kind uh, I would have liked it better I really like to see V7 uh, weapons come up with theirs and I got JP silent capture and for those who haven't seen one So this is the extension if you're using a, a fixed rifle stock. So this could be used in a carbine or a rifle stock. So here it is. This whole assembly here replaces your buffer spring. So the spring doesn't run up and down on the tube. This part here moves back and forth. Like so. And you can change these springs out. So you have like three other springs that are available to lighten this up or tighten it up. And you can change these weights so you can customize this just like a standard buffer and get it to where you got the impact the least amount of impact recoil and still chamber the next round go back into battery uh, and you can just see this stuff is just I mean, super super nice Let me get the other box. 
so this box here is V7 weapon systems contribution to my gun I paid for all of it so don't think it was a freebie so we'll start with this clear buffer tube and I'm going to put links, I haven't done that before, but I am going to put links to all this stuff in the description. So this is their 2055 carbine buffer tube, and it's constructed from 2055 lithium aluminum, so it's an alloy, and it weighs 3.2 ounces. And it's, once again, don't ever expect anything less to come from those guys super nice I like their logo but their logo is not going to be seen and that works for me too what I do like is the inside of this tube is also machined smooth some of the buffer tubes you get <coughs> you can feel the like uh, machine cut in there this is like glass smooth it's a smooth inside it is outside and then we got this whole bag of parts so they were nice and they did send me a really a nice little patch velcro patch that I could probably find a place to put I guess that's free advertising and I won't need this well I don't know yet because oh, I the other gun I do have to get a bolt for because I did pull my titanium v7 bolt out of that and I just broke this thing completely down and cleaned it all up and you can see, look at that, things shiny yet. No, I, you can't even tell it was in the gun. And there's a couple thousand easy rounds on this piece. So I picked up, when I bought that, they didn't have this, but now they do. It's a titanium fire pin. And so I'll end up probably using it in the new stock, or in the new uh, bulk carrier group, I'm sorry. And I picked up a couple of their titanium pins for uh, trigger and safety and they have them in I believe three sizes standard and a couple of uh, the oversized ones and then there's a couple that are, are one that's longer too for uh, uh, mag tactical which actually I do have their lower on the other gun and somebody else uses a little bit longer pin so this is just a really lightweight door and spring for, or a hinge pin for the uh, port door. And even stuff like this. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. How nice it all fits together and how nice it is. So what I'll end up doing I use frog lube a lot of people don't like it but I do and I actually just did it to this bolt carrier group so I broke the whole thing down including the ejection pin and cleaned it all up and then I put it in the oven I turned the oven on and just let it get warm maybe about 100 120 degrees in there and then I set these in there and let them sit for about five minutes just enough so this warms up it's no different than sticking out in the Sun at least in Florida because the sun's pretty hot here I mean, and then I'll go and I'll take the paste and I'll put paste all over everything and scrub it in a little bit with a nylon brush and then I let it set and harden back up and then I put it back in two more times let it cool and cool hard and cool hard and then I wipe it all down and be done with it the idea is that this metal expands a little bit and it opens the pores up metal is porous and that frog glue gets in those pores and when this starts heating up when you're using it it literally comes back out of the pores so here's a little titanium grip screw and I went with more titanium on the last one I went with a lot of the aluminum pieces they have there is a little bit of a weight saving by going with the aluminum but I just wanted to try their titanium. So here's the mag release and I got the little diamond pattern. They have like two patterns, I think a straight line pattern 
and this one and something else and I can't remember what that is and this is titanium so I used this door on the last one it's aluminum and it's ultra light but what they did was it's right here on this hinge from this point to this point they cut the metal out and opened up the hinge see if you can see it that and this little bit right here I mean they were definitely pushing this down as far as they could get it in weight and let's see if I had it written down how much it weighs Six point seven grams. Sorry, it took so long. I'm trying to find. I got a bunch of notes on the side over here that I wrote down. But I mean, just look how nice it looks. Stainless steel or uh, titanium pin right here. And it's just finished, perfect. And then I got there. They have the uh, fifty-seven degree custom. But I didn't get that. I got the standard 90. So the handle is aluminum. But the shaft is titanium. And it comes with a pin set. And here's a detent or the detent pins and the spring kit I actually got two of these I just sometimes if I'm buying some parts I'll buy some extra ones you take the gun down you break one I once lost one of these springs and I had to wait like three days to get a new one and then I have the titanium castle nut and end plate which are just super nice And then a set of titanium takedown pins. And they even ship them with these little protectors on them so that they don't get scratched up. Not that you're ever going to really see this part of them. But I mean, it just doesn't matter what part it is, how much effort they put into making sure it's just perfect. And it's not cheap. You're paying for perfect. These are titanium and they weigh nothing. And what was funny was I sent a little, they, you know, they send you a little confirmation email saying they got your, uh, your stuff has been delivered and I sent one back saying that I did get it and I just complimented them on how good their pieces are. And I also gave them a suggestion that they need to make something like this V5. And it, to me it would be this in titanium, a little bit different, but the same basic idea. I'm just not big on where you take and screw one of these pieces on your uh, bolt release. I'm sure, you know, if it popped off and fell and got lost, you still can use your bolt release, but I don't want to put parts on that I have to worry about falling off and it just it just seems like a much better way to do it like this and I like it a lot even like the lock or it's just you even if you're handling this side of it you know the release here but you have this whole big section if you wanted to lock it all right and the only other piece that I didn't show you was so I got this the Magpul mad or mid grip mission adaptable gen 1 and I have this on the other gun also I liked it it works good it's I think it's good in my hand what's in it you can custom this gun it actually comes with a, a bolt they got it where it's 
Allen or a straight. But the front strap and the back strap, you can change out and replace them to how you want them with customized grip if you like. And I like, you know, pretty much I have a smaller hand, so I like mine a little bit smaller. But if you wanted, if you had a little bigger hand, you could use this piece back here and fill it up a little bit. Uh, you can slide this piece in here. This section here comes out. You slide this in, and then you have a finger grip. And then you can slide this piece in, which is a little thinner than that one, actually, if you wanted to get very small. But it eliminates this, and that's for it, that little piece here goes away. It would let you actually get up a little higher on the gun. But this is how I've been running the other one. I haven't had a bit of problem with it. I just wanted to go through there, and uh, I'm going to start. Uh, it'll take a while because I want to treat everything with frog lube first and get it ready, and then I'll start putting it together, and I'll probably throw some video up of that actually too for those that want to see it oh yeah so this is the barrel that's going back in it I did a review on our uh, video on this that's the v7 18 inch stainless steel it's black so a lot of people don't think it's stainless steel but it is and I'm gonna pull my diamond handguard I'm gonna use on this gun I love this thing, the way it fits in your hand, the way they rolled out the bottom down here. Oh yeah, works perfect. And I'm gonna probably, I'll buy a new one for the other gun, but the Raptor, I like it. I'm not big on the big tabbed out ones here, and ambidextrous, and it's just solid, works good, smooth. Good device. That's it. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, appreciate everybody that's been jumping on and subscribing. Have a good day. I'll get back to you in a little bit.